Welcome everyone. I'm Tim Hill. I'm the service manager at Abernathy. Uh, today I'd like to just uh, go over the hydraulic and electrical hookups that are necessary to run a 1725 planter. Uh, we have uh, the vacuum hookups which consist of two vacuum pressure hoses, two vacuum return hoses, and a vacuum case drain. The two pressure hoses need to be installed into two separate SCVs on the right hand side. The two return hoses need to be installed into two return ports, which are ports that are located below the SCV stack on your later model tractors. And of course the case drain is, needs to be installed in the special case drain port, which is below the return ports on the back of the tractor. We have uh, two variable rate drive hoses, one pressure and one return. The variable rate drive can either be plugged into an SCV, both the pressure and the return, or it can be run off the pressure and return couplers of the uh, power beyond on the tractor. The, uh, the stack fold, there's a pressure and a return hose for the stack fold. Uh, those hoses just need to be plugged into an SCV on the back side of the tractor. And then there is a hose for the frame control. The frame control is actually, we don't use it a lot in our part of the country, but it allows you to pick up the wings on the, the outside of the wings on these stack fold planters to kind of for clearance when you're turning. If you need to use those, then you're going to need another SCV to plug that single hose into. The electrical connections, there's three different electro, electrical connections on the planter. Uh, the first one is the nine pin implement connector, which is uh, the connector that's actually used for the planter to communicate with the tractor. We have a light connector, which is used for strictly for the uh, caution or warning lights on the planter. And then we have a multi-width disconnect connection. This connection is actually tied into the multi-width disconnect box, which is mounted inside the tractor cab. And it is used to shut off the individual, the three individual sections of the planter. The multi-width disconnect does not have to be used. You don't even have to hook it up uh, if you're not wanting to control those three separate sections. Thank you for joining us today and have a great day.